Sustainable farming has to be environmentally sustainable, but it also has to be financially sustainable. In the past, farming has been looked on as the production of beef or milk or grain for sale. Environmental benefits were nice, but were never recognised, never valued as an output or a product from the farm. The Hen Harrier Project recognises and rewards the production of these environmental goods. Grasslands are the core of any livestock farm, but they can potentially be very valuable environmentally. Your fields can support biodiversity, they can store carbon and they can feed your livestock. But we have to recognise that every field is different and what farmers need to get out of each field is different. And we have to remember that all of your fields are part of one farm and they all have a role to play. Some fields are used for hay or silage, some for grazing. Some are only suitable for summer grazing. Some can be used year round. In some fields, an agricultural product is the priority. In others, getting the maximum value out of the environmental service they provide is the best choice. How well a field performs, agriculturally or environmentally, is largely due to management. How does the Hen Harrier project put a value on the habitats in a grassland field? Plant diversity. The number of different types of plants and how common they are in the field is important. Some plants tell us a story about the field, its soil, its history, its management. These are what we call positive indicator species. They are reasonably common, but do best on fields that have not been heavily fertilized, sprayed or reseeded. If they are found in good numbers, they tell us that the field is a high quality habitat. And that means it is a good home for insects, for birds and for small mammals. The hen harrier is at the top of this food chain. For the hen harrier to do well, we need farmland that provides for other wildlife. The structure of the sward is very important. A high quality habitat provides space or homes for a wide range of life throughout the year. A field that is heavily fertilized and where the grass is all the same height and normally quite short might be good for some animals at some time of the year, but overall it is a poor habitat for most. But a field with some tall and some short vegetation, with tussocks of grasses or rushes, supports many more. The clumps of rushes provide shelter for insects, particularly in the winter, which in turn are food for small birds. The flowers and seed produced in summer are a vital food source. They provide the power behind the whole food chain. Small patches of scrub add to this, providing food, shelter and nesting sites. They are an asset in any field. At the other end of the scale, a field completely dominated by rushes may provide shelter for some insects, but it does not provide the flowers and food plants that insects need in the summer. And while some small birds and rodents may live there, they are impossible for a hen harrier to find or catch. Hedges and field boundaries are also important. They add variety, they add structure, they connect habitats together and they help the hen harrier to take its prey by surprise. A good hedge is wide, at least three metres. It is a number of different types of trees and shrubs. It is not gappy at the base and has occasional trees rising above the hedge itself. Other boundaries, even earth banks and water courses, are also very valuable. The more boundaries and the more diversity in them, the better. In fact, the only boundary that has no value is a barbed wire fence. How well a field scores on diversity and structure depends on management, past and present. If a field is doing well, then the management is good and should continue as it is. If a field is scoring badly, it can be improved by changing how you manage it. This is completely within your control. How you manage the farm, the livestock, your choices on fertilizer and pesticides, your decisions on topping fields all have an impact. This can be positive or negative. It is your call.
The flowers and structure of the sward, the hedges and watercourses, all add to the habitat value of a field. But other things can detract from it. Burning, dumping, damage from supplementary feeding, or the presence of invasive species, take away from the quality of the habitats. Dealing with these issues is the quickest way to increase the score and your payments. Grassland fields have a lot to offer, agriculturally and environmentally, and achieving real benefits from both is possible. How you manage your grasslands can help you produce livestock for sale, ensure continued eligibility for direct payments, and bring in money for environmental goods. Good management can help you cut your costs and safeguard the future of the farm.